Hey guys, Kev here, and I have unboxings to do for you. So, uh, I want to show you, oh yeah, my new slip for the low drag jack. So this came in from my good buddy Troy over at Northwoods Leatherworks Co. So if you are interested in a badass slip like this, you can hit him up, let him know Lefty sent you, and you can get something like this for 35 bucks. It's crazy. Um, so we got enough of that low drag sticking out. We can grab her like that. Look at that matching color right there. You got the neon green in the uh, scale. And then you got the uh, cool blue colors. I think it works really well together. Um, I think this would work if anybody out there is interested in this setup. I think this would work with a neon orange as well. If you get the Miami Vice colors, you could, you know, do something like that. Lots of options with Troy, but um, absolutely loving the slip. So I got that, but um, there's, yeah, there's some packages here. So let's just see what's going on. I think this one, I know what this is. This is a Choo Choo. Um, this is a Jason Brown Choo Choo doll. And this is actually for... Uh, Josh Worth. So I actually have one of these right here. And I bought another one that I gave away. And there she is, or he is, sorry. You got Jason Brown chilling, got his headphones on, a Swiss Army knife, spray paint can. Really cool. I've showed this off before. All the funds that go to this uh, go to the Brown family. So totally worth picking up. I believe you can pick these up for 30 bucks, something like that. 35 maybe. And you can get ones that aren't painted for like 20 or 25. Um, I believe they still have some available. So if you want one, jump on it now. All you got to do is hit up Grumpy Grunt, sorry, Grumpy Grunt or Papa Rhino on Instagram and uh, or here on YouTube and you should be able to snag one of these. But this is for Josh Worth. So I'm going to put this down here. I think I have another package for him right here. This is coming from Rock Scale Design. And it's got the receipt with my address. And then here we go. Anything else in there? Nope. We have a backspacer for a knife. Cool. I don't know what the knife is. I guess I could check that receipt. And then you have the, uh, looks like Spider Co. Probably a PM2 if I had to guess. Pair of three. Uh, backspacer lanyard replacement, which is cool. So that's going to go to Josh. Got a bunch of his stuff here. This here is from Lynch Northwest. This has my address on it. Oh, yeah. Ya boy, I saw something in stock. I did not realize I ordered that many. I did not order that many. Did they hook it up or what? Look at this. Holy cow. What is all this stuff? Thanks, Kevin, for your PA support. Lynch Northwest. Dude, there's no way I ordered that many. I must have accidentally put two orders in. Unless they just hooked it up. I don't even... What's in here? Just some screws. So we got some extra screws. And we got... One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. All wire clip replacements. And a satin for something, a pair of three. Wait, maybe they come, maybe Josh ordered two and they combined our orders. That might be what happened. Yeah, look, these are Spyderco clips. Unless I put all this shit in my cart, which I don't think so. I think these are Josh's stuff, and these are mine. And maybe he ordered uh, a couple of these as well. I know I ordered, I think I ordered three, at least, of the black. Um, there's five here, so I'll have, to talk to, <laughs> I'll have to talk to Josh or check my order and see exactly what's going on here, because, um, yeah. 
that's a lot of that's a lot of clips that I didn't order. So cool stuff. I'll check with Josh on that. It happens occasionally. He orders stuff and he, he uses my name, right? It's my name and address. So um like skiff bearings. They'll send me a package and I'll be like, what the hell did you send me this for? And uh, there's no indication of it being Josh on the package. Obviously, he tells me, but I forget like 10 seconds later. And then it shows up a week later, and I'm like, what the f is this? And that's what it always is. So probably the same thing. So this one here, I have no idea what it is. It just says online seller. And then I have one from Jared Neve. So let's check the one from Jared. I think this is just a growler prototype coming back. It's been a while. Um... We obviously had the whole snafu on this project, and um, we're still figuring out what we're going to do. I did talk to an OEM today um, that is in the U.S., so that's cool. Um, let me see what's going on here. Don't remember. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, did I put it in a package like that? Interesting. Okay, just some peanuts and whatnot. Might keep that box. So this should be, yep, there we go. Let me see what this is. Some paperwork I printed out. Yeah, I must have printed out some kind of paperwork with it. Trash that. And then there's my stickers that nobody took out. Okay. All right. Let me get rid of this box. Um, so here's some extra inlays. Uh, there's the uh, Pacific Blue and the Micarta. And some uh, Troll Candy. And then I have the uh, Growler here. Which, yeah, man, I really like this knife. I have the black one back as well. And I gotta say, it's just an, a sick knife um yeah the circumstances are unfortunate on this but we do want to get this produced so uh we're still trying to get it made in the u.s um so i have talked to a new oem today actually i don't i haven't gotten anywhere at all um so i'm not saying anything's happening but um we're gonna give it you know, we're going to give it the old college try. And uh, if we can't get this made in the U.S. at some point, we're probably going to just go ahead and have it made overseas. We might just hit up Best Tech and be like, hey, you know, we want to do the project or whatever. So anyway, um, sick prototype. Good to have back. Um, I do have one person who really wants this knife <laughs> and is willing to buy it. So um we may sell one prototype, but we'll see what happens. So that's that. All right. And then we have this package of unknown origin. So let's figure this guy out. I'm sure it's something stupid I bought and can't remember. So just says online seller, something California. And then it has my name. This could be unrelated to knives. Um, oh no, it's a boss deed. So, this is a Vosteed knife. All right. Speak of the devil. I was talking to a couple other YouTube guys tonight about um, in a program or a website that... Uh, hold on. A website that people use uh, to create uh, links, like uh, affiliate links, and... Vosteed is one of the companies that's on there, and that's how I got on that website, um, because they set me up when I first started talking to them. So it's just ironic that this showed up 10 minutes later. Um, I believe this is going to be the, um, man, now I can't remember the name. It's not the Thunderbird, right? It's the new one. Um, damn, I can't remember the name of it. You get a cool patch, cool stuff. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Looks like a button lock. They're doing a lot of button locks right now. Usually they have the name of the knife like all over. Valkyrie. There it is. I see it right here. 
the Valkyrie. I think they told me this sold out, the first run sold out. So they wanted me to hold off on doing the review. So I'll do that, but we can check it out. Sheep's Foot, 154, 3.26. Got a lot of things I like there. Trek Lock, that's what they're calling their Axis Lock. Hey, look at that, boom. Drop that in there. This packaging that they provide in the price range, I think is, is very good. Um, so always good to see that, boom. So I'll probably review this and maybe pass it around if anybody's interested. But um, they may be sending a bunch of these out. I don't know. Centered. Ooh, it's kind of like a QSP Penguin, but button lockish. Um, more aggressive blade. Nice and sharp. It's got that Kaiser y button lock feel. Very cormorant y, except for it actually has like a detent a little bit. Man, that sounds awesome. Listen. Wow. It's not rattly at all. Um, sure, the front flipper. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I don't love the color. I don't love the clip. Let's grab... Um, but other than that, I'm kind of loving this. So let's switch this over. The last one I checked out was the Raccoon, which was really good. Um, I'd love to see them do some more premium materials. Uh, I just, not a huge fan of uh, this kind of G10 or, you know, um, the micarta they used on the Raccoon was good, but it dampened the sound. And button locks are like kind of, you know, they have nice acoustics. I like hearing that. Um, all right, so let's get this out of here. We shouldn't need to do anything else with it. Very nice. I mean, I like the um, dimensions. I love this lock um, or the action. There's no play at all. And look, I mean, look at that. The flipper tab, yeah, it has a detent. Like, it has a good pop to it, good spring in there. Look at that. Soup. And I like how it's kind of like closed into the handle, yet you can still reverse flick, easily flick. Yeah, I got to give Vosti some credit here. They're killing the button lock game, especially this budget realm of it. I'm guessing this knife is like 70 bucks, you know? I mean, it could be less. It's G10. Proud liners, which are milled. Um, it's got a button lock. I love that their button lock has a collar. It's super unique and cool. I'm guessing other colorways look a little cooler. I'm not a big fan of this gray colorway, but um, it's cool. Vostede Valkyrie. I'm having no problem. Um, one of the biggest issues I have as a lefty with button locks like this is the reverse flick. I always end up like being on the button like this and depressing it and then the, it makes it too easy to uh, flick. But on this one, for some reason, my finger just lines up in a good spot. I'm not like right on top of the button and I can uh, get that full detent strength, detent strength. Um, yeah, this thing fires. Look at that. So I'm guessing that was sent from like an Amazon store. That's why it said online seller. This is addicting. I mean, that closing sound. So 3.26 inches. So here's a Devo Knives Mash. right there and they are almost identical blade length handle i mean the the mash it's got a maybe it's slightly shorter handle and a little bit more blade but uh, i'm sure that button lock is the reason for that um or maybe the flipper tab needing to get in there Which, by the way i'm really happy with these 
So far, today's like the first day people are getting these. The reception seems to be uh, very positive, so that's good. And we're working on a batch two with some updates. Um, small updates, but um, sneak peek. One of them is this line right here. This grind line is going to come up and right up to that corner right here. It's going to go like this. And that's going to allow, when it's closed, it's going to allow this spine to be more centered. Right now, it's kind of off to this side. It's more pronounced on this one. I don't know why I'm getting into this here, but whatever. You see how the spine of the blade is kind of leaning to this side? The tip is perfectly centered. Let's see if I can show you. See the tip centered. Tip centered. But the spine, this part right here, is not. And that's not a huge deal or anything, but to me, I want it to be centered down the line. I'm just, you know, I'm a little bit OCD about that. And they said it had something to do with the way they did the plunge grind. And if they go up right up to here, it'll be better. And I think that's going to make the hollow grind more consistent too. And maybe not thicken out as much out here. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to try to do is reduce the kind of acoustic sound kind of has a little bit of a rattle unfortunately um whatever you want to call it it's just a very kind of open acoustic and they think that's because of um how tight the liner is into the frame or whatever and they're gonna they're gonna try to address that too so uh cqi you know and the next batch will be coming hopefully soon we're gonna do a black tie handle with satin hard so imagine a black tie handle with this satin hardware satin blade just black tie handle and then imagine this with blue titanium blue anodized titanium black hardware and black wash blade so just a couple of different options for you guys we're going to try to order 400 of those um so hopefully we have enough for everybody and we can always do another run if we have to um, but anyway, back to the Valkyries. Ooh, the Valkyrie. Did I just bust that tip up? Nope. Um, let me give it a little paper cut. We know it's going to crush this, so let's feel the ergo. Ooh. You not only have this flat, you have a choil. So, yeah, you're losing some blade there but or cutting edge, but I honestly don't even notice it. I feel like you still get a good, healthy amount of cutting edge. Oops. Oh, yeah. She's an S-turn girl. She's an S-turn girl. Look at that. And I could write my name with this puppy. I could totally write my name. Let me try. I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> that's impressive. Slow cut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, can I get little curlies with it? Yep. Wow. Yeah, that puppy's sharp, guys. That puppy is sharp. So I did ask Vostid if Kaiser was making these. Because a lot of people assume that it's a Kaiser made knife. Now, what I understand is they have their own sort of factory that they use, and they're kind of like, I don't know if they own the factory or they are part owning the factory, something like that. So they have more control over things. So they can try different stuff. They can do batches of things. Like, um, I think that's really cool, and it's good to hear um, I like that. It's going to help keep costs down. It's going to make them unique, right? You're not just going to have a Kaiser knife with Vostid on it, right? Um, you know, design is a big element, obviously. Like, if you look at, you know, our knives or whatever. But um, it's cool if you can to start making your own stuff, obviously. So, um, whatever the case is, uh, whoever's making these, they're very well done. They really are. And for the price point... Yeah, it's almost a no-brainer. I really like this one. Um, I love a sheep's foot blade. I was waiting for a 
sheep's foot uh, button lock knife like this. And I think if they came out with one in, like, imagine this in, like, fat carbon or something fancier. I would be all over this. Even titanium scales or something, like a beefed up version of this Valkyrie would be awesome. Um, I don't know if you can do, like, a reach around move. Oh, you can get a reach around. And then, oh, let me try that again. You get a reach around. And then you can click the button right here. Eh. Click the button, drop it like it's hot. All right, you can't. It, it's not that good doing that. But the only thing I don't love about the front flipper is how low pro it is. I mean, it barely clears the scale here. So you can get it though. Oh. Kind of just put some pressure down and wrist it out a little bit. I love the flipper tab. This flipper tab, the jimping's really good. Catches my finger really well, and it's really fun to flick, flip. The studs are really close to the scale, but the thumb flick works great. Again, reverse flick's like stout. You get a stout spring on that reverse flick, at least. That's what it feels like to me. It feels great. It's one of those knives like the um, RR Standard. Oh, shit. Like the RR standard, where you got to come at it from a different angle than you're used to. I think a lot of people are used to having studs off the frame a little bit. So let me see if I have an example. I'm not a studs guy, so I don't have a lot of studs. Stud, 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 stud. So like, look at this, right? You kind of just flick it, right? You just come out and you kind of flick out a little bit like this and you fire it, right? And then if you reverse flick it, you just kind of get to the side of it. And then push out. Sorry. Why can't I? What am I doing? There. And push out, right? Left-handed, I'll try to show you. It's hard because it's not lefty-friendly. But kind of just do that, right? Um, that's the Asher Nomad tie, by the way. But on this knife, the, the um, studs are close. And then there's a frame lock that you can't put pressure on because it'll lock it up. So what you have to do is kind of get underneath it. So what I do is I rest the knife, kind of palm it down here. And then I get my nail underneath and off of the frame lock. So it's kind of like underneath it. And then I push up. I don't push out or anything, right? Um, and left-handed, like here's, you can see it from this side, the thumb flick. I'm pushing straight up like this. Because if I go to push out, I'm on the lock bar now. And I'm putting pressure on the lock bar. And it makes it a lot harder to fire or impossible. So you just learn to come at it straight vertical. And this has the same effect on it uh, with these studs because of the placement. You kind of have to come underneath. Now, you can come to the side, but you don't have as much access. Um, it works, but I don't know. Anyway, really cool knife. I'm digging this 154CM. Raids are sharp. Nice thin grind. Let's check the uh, check the edge on this pup. Or the uh, oops, thickness behind the edge. Sixteen, thirteen, seventeen. Okay, let's call it fifteen thousandths behind the edge. That's great for a knife like this. Yeah. Um, if you can't tell, I love it. I love this knife. So. Uh, Vosti, you did a great job with this. Um, I'd love to see a more premium version. I'd love to see like a more, Ooh, that clip is tight. Is that going to work? Oh yeah. It's, oh no. There we go. You know what it reminds me of? Honestly, uh, some people hate it is our clip on the, um, our clip on the, um, growler. That shield did. You can see how tight it is, right? Um, this has a little more tension than this does. This is a little easier to get in your pocket. But what you have to do is kind of get... You kind of got to lip it onto your jeans and then get it like straight and, and shove it in. It works great. That's what she said. But um, once you get the hang of it, it's really good. So we'll see how that works. I'll do a full review on this because I, I really do like it. So, um, yeah. That's the Bostied Valkyrie. Bunch of stuff from Lynch I got to figure out. 
Got one of the Growler prototypes back. Um, showed off my Northwoods Leatherwork slip for the low drag jack. Um, and then we got the Choo Choo for the Jason Brown Choo Choo for Josh and his Rock Scale Designs backspacer. So just some stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.